I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. We're speaking with Christina Chun Muslin, who is one of two Teachers of the Year for the Elk Grove Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, I have to tell you right away, Christina was my son's theater teacher when he was in high school at Elk Grove High, but now you are at Cosumnes Oaks High School. Yes, I've been there for 11 years. Okay. So tell us about your program because you kind of have a wide range of, of students and talents, but it's not that you're really teaching future actors. It's, it's all the other stuff that kids learn from being in theater. Right. Um, every student that walks into my classroom, the first thing I say to them is, if there's anything that you learn, it's to learn how to be comfortable with being vulnerable. And um, I'll have students, because I teach such a wide gamut, I teach theater one, advanced theater, advanced theater honors, children's theater, drama productions. Um, I'm hoping that to have a CTE drama productions and management class this next year. And so I get this huge gamut of students, um, whether they want to go into the arts or they want to go into performing or they are thrown into the class. I have so many students and so I tell them that no matter what you plan to do, learning to be comfortable with being vulnerable is going to take you where you need to go. Explain the importance of that, uh, with being comfortable um, with being vulnerable. Well, there will be moments, whether it be in your personal life, whether it be in a career, an interview, a TV interview, um, where you'll feel vulnerable, you'll feel insecure, you won't know the answers, you'll have to take risks. And in those situations, it's important to, to know that number one, you're safe, and number two, you're gonna get through it, and number three, that you can. Um, and I think actually, if I were to rewrite that, I would say number three, that you can, is the most important part of that. Um, learning the skills to be able to, um, to be okay and to be comfortable in those moments when you're not exactly sure of the outcome. So what is it like for you as a theater teacher to see the growth of a student who, who really blossoms and, and gets to the point of being comfortable with being vulnerable? Oh man, um, I, I, it's amazing. You know, it's, it's absolutely um, the most rewarding part of my job is being able to see a student who is unsure, um, who's guarded, um, who, um, who doesn't want to be there and then end up falling in love. Um, many of them go on, um, most of them don't. Most of them don't go on and, and do theater. Um, but oftentimes students will come back and they'll say that they took a class or they, they've used a skill X, Y, and Z that they learned in my class and they're using it now. Um, or they, you know, they tried TV or they're doing something completely different, but th learning how to take risks they remember as, as something that they learned with my class. And that's, it's the most rewarding thing I've, um, it keeps me moving, keeps me going. And you're teaching confidence. Absolutely. Whether, you know, because now, you know, you, you have to be able to speak in front of a group. If you're presenting, you have to be comfortable with people, meeting people, all those things are, are skills you get through theater. Absolutely. So tell me about the value of an arts education and, and what impact the arts has on the other subjects because there's a lot of research that covers that. Absolutely, I truly believe that theater and well the arts in general, performing arts, is um, the place where students can apply the skills that they learn and the content and the knowledge that they learn in their other classes, whether it be science, math, social science, English, um, going into the arts or, or taking an arts class gives you that opportunity to apply those skills. Um, and notice I didn't say the core subjects because the arts are a core subject. The, the arts are, a, um, they are a, a priority and they are an essential part of every student's um, learning. Um, and so my students, for example, in theater, um, every day they're analyzing literature, they're analyzing characters, they're making choices, and they're researching um, his, times of his, uh, periods of history. And on top of that, they're having to create something completely new. They're not able, it's not a cookie cutter class where they take something that they saw and then they, they, um, they copy it. They have to take all of their knowledge and apply that knowledge and um, create something that is completely new and unique. So there's a lot of critical thinking. Underway. Absolutely. Um, and on top of that, you're doing it in front of an audience. 
um, an audience that is often judgmental or sometimes you're just your fear of the judgment. Um, and so that extra level makes it even more pressure and more, um, more of a challenge for students. So talk about the CTE class that you're developing. Mm -hmm. That sounds really interesting. Tell me what it would be about. So I received my, I went back to school five years ago and I got my MBA. I know I, I, I got uh, what the theater teacher getting a <laughs> business degree for. Um, I wanted to get a degree that had to do with administration, but I wanted to see what other, what other people do. And so having classmates that were from other sectors, whether it be private or public, was important to me. Um, and, um, and so I developed this class realizing that what students need is skills in management. You know, it's not just our job to give them content. It's not just our, our job to give them entry level skills to, in order to go into careers and college. Um, I believe that at secondary level, it's our, it's our priority or it's, our, it's important for us to, um, to give students the foundation to become the leaders of the next generation of career people. And so um, I have been writing this course, or I wrote this course, that would teach them managerial skills and teach them, um, teach them production skills through the lens of theater. And, um, and everything that they learn about business, everything they learn about budgets, everything they learn about um, relationships with individuals and people and, and, um, and being a manager are things that they will learn in this class, hopefully. And well, so being a, a manager in the, the theater setting is like being an air traffic controller. Oh, absolutely. Because there's so many things going on. You've got the live production. You've got yes. the technical aspect of it. You've got the audience to deal with. There are right. so many things. Yeah. And so um, hopefully um, this class will be something where they will have, well, they'll get some foundational skills in, in, some of these, um, in some of these different realms that are absolutely applicable to almost every other, um, every other career that you can name. But not only that, they could transition into something in the regional theater mm -hmm. and start there, and, and who knows where that could lead them, Yes, having that experience. Yes, and especially in the theater world, there are way more jobs for, um, for individuals who want to be behind the scenes than there are for uh, individuals on stage, and it makes them more marketable to be able to do both. So what inspired you to, to become a theater teacher? Um, I always wanted to be a teacher. In fact, I wanted to be a AP US history teacher. Mm. I was in my, my senior year at Laguna Creek High School in Elk Grove, and I told my, um, my government teacher that I wanted to be a US history teacher. And actually, it's Mr. Hoffman, Chris Hoffman, who is now our superintendent. Now superintendent. Yeah. Yeah. And he told me, um, he said, if you want to be a history teacher, get your, the double major in history and English so that you make yourself more marketable. Turns out that I actually like teaching social history and being an English teacher is where I would be able to talk about literature and talk about the, uh, the influence of, of history and influence of, of society on literature. So long story short, you have to have an English credential to teach theater. Mm. And so when I, once I realized that with my English credential I could teach theater, and teach all these things that I want to do. I can teach history, I can teach literature, I can do all these things um, and make it fun and hide the fact that I'm teaching for students and hide the fact that they're learning. Um, it, was, it just seemed like a dream come true. So what would you say to someone who's considering going into not only teaching but maybe focusing on the arts? I would tell them that uh, you absolutely have to go in loving it. You have to go in loving teaching and you have to go in loving people and students and wanting the best for people and students. If you can't do this job and not love what you do, um, you could, but um, it would not be what's best for kids. I would tell them that it's a lot of work, but every job is a lot of work. And it's important that if it's if it's something that you are good at, and it's some, and it, um, then go for it. But first and foremost, it has to be about the people around you. Um, 
I am lucky at my school that um, I get to work with a staff of 10 other educators. Most schools, it's not like that. Most schools, the theater teacher is an island. And I am lucky enough that I get to, t um, to work with some of the most talented educators who also feel the same way that I do about educating students. Um, but I, every day I have to go in knowing that it's about these people around me and what's, what's, what's good for them. Um, and it's not for me, it's for everybody else. And I think that as a teacher, um, if that feeds you, then you can do this forever. Well, congratulations to you. Thank and you. And it's good to see you again as well. Yeah, it's so great to see yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> we're speaking with Christina Chun Muslin, who is one of two teachers of the year for the Oak Grove Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.